altcoins are getting wrecked. Fofar, you might remember this highly touted meme coin on Tron that launched two weeks ago and quickly shot up to a $45 million market cap to great fanfare. Well, since then, as you can see, the chart isn't that great, particularly in the last few days. Now this coin is at a measly $3 million market cap and slowly dying off. Bull on Tron, not quite as bad, but not much better. This was Crash's coin. It launched about a week and a half ago, quickly shot up to a $280 million market cap. It has been in a downtrend since then. It is now at $100 million market cap. And the poor performing coins are just limited to Tron. Also, Solana Billy on Solana, for example. It was only five weeks ago. This coin was at a $230 million market cap. It's been slowly downtrending since then. Currently, it's at a $17 million market cap. So what's going on? Why are all these these meme coins not performing well? The answer is very, very clear, and it is the time period that we are currently in. So you can't really get stats for the average monthly return of the cryptocurrency market as a whole, but you can for Bitcoin. Here's that chart. And the two worst performing months of the year for Bitcoin since inception, and the only two red months are, you guessed it, August and September, with September being the worst of the two months with an average negative 4.4% return. The good the good news is move over two months to October and November. Those look pretty high, 27% and 36% returns. So those two months, October and November, are two of the top three best performing months for Bitcoin. So we just got to hold through another couple weeks of the chop and we will get pumps. But anyways, that, that, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the one meme coin, which is bucking the negative current trend of meme coins. And this one's performing very well. Sundog. So you're probably looking at this chart right here. You're thinking it looks pretty good. It does look good. So this one was the first meme coin on Tron. It launched three weeks ago, quickly shot up to a $320 million market cap. Now it's hardly down at all. It's at $250 million market cap. There is some solid base level consolidation at the current level. So what, what is, you know, what's contributed to Sundog's success? Well, it's some very specific things. So first of all, First mover coins on chains do perform really very well, such as Brett being the first meme coin on base chain. Additionally, first mover dog coins always perform well, such as Dogecoin, Shiba Inu on ETH. And on Solana, we had Myro, we had Bonk, we had Whiff. All those coins, four of the five of those coins have reached billion dollar market caps and one Myro reached about $400 million market cap. So Sundog being the first dog coin on Tron, that bodes well. What else do we have? The founder of Tron Chain, Justin Sun, is bull posting meme coins in general, and he has loosely, lightly shilled Sundog. He's interacted with some tweets. He's lightly retweeted it. So it's not a hard shill, very soft shills. But the fact that he has noticed this coin isn't afraid to, you know, comment on their tweets. That is a positive thing. But now let's get to the important stuff. What has happened new with Sundog since my first video on this project seven days ago? Well, several things. First, two new exchanges. Bing X, that's a top 15 exchange, and KuCoin, that's a top 10 exchange. They have both listed Sundog. So now this project is on three top 10 exchanges, Gates, Huobi, and KuCoin. So why is that important? Well, those exchanges are much more expensive, I can tell you, than MEXC, BitGet, the other exchanges that this, that this coin is on. So that shows that this team has the funds and the connections to get on the top exchanges. So does that mean they are, you know, could they get on Bybit? Could they get on Kraken? Okay, X, could they even get on the top two, Binance and Coinbase? Maybe, and that's what leads to the parabolic run-ups when in a span of a week or two, they are listed on say three top 10 exchanges in quick succession. That's what happened with Pepe. Maybe that will happen with Sundog. What else is new with this project? The buyback and burns continue, and this is the main reason for the success. It instills trust in the team. Just today, they burned $48,000 worth of Sundog tokens. That's $12,000. In some days, it's been as high as $50,000. Again, bodes very, very well for the team. What else? Sunbot is around and generating revenue. So this project has a bunch of utilities. The main utility, a lot of people don't even know, they have a trading bot. It links, it's linked on the bottom of the website right here. Sunbot TG. So why is this important? because there isn't really a trading bot. They're trading bots for Ethereum and Solana, not one for Tron. And for most people who bought Sundog, that's probably the first coin they bought on Tron, meaning they're probably going to ape other Trons, so they need a trading bot. And it gets even better than that. 
revenues from Sunbot that goes back into buyback and burns, which is used to prop up the price of Sundog coin. That is an excellent business model right there. Another utility, a payment card is a silver card, which has been launched by Zbeck, which means you can use Sundog to buy stuff in stores. That's another great utility it goes back to crypto's grassroots. And that is it for Sundog. So drop a comment down below. But guys, let me know a price target you have for Sundog. Do you think it will remain the number one meme coin on Tron? Be back later in the video. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.